We're back with head coach Dale Carlson, who's going to give us a quick preview of the St. Joe's game. Uh, what are some? Uh, what are going to be some keys to the game for Valpo to come out with a victory on Thursday? Well, you know, I think for for both teams, uh, the the first and most important part is controlling the line of scrimmage, both offensively and defensively. Um, you know, we've got to run the football a little bit better than we did last year, and we've got to stop the run better. And I'm sure. You know, St. Joe's coaches are, are saying the same thing you know, to their players. Uh, so the first key will be uh, controlling the line of scrimmage. Secondly, uh, it will uh, be keeping pressure off of our quarterback. Uh, you know, I think we have a good quarterback coming back in Eric Hoffman. Uh, we just uh, got to give him a chance to, to throw the football back there. St. Joe's likes to bring some pressure. We have to do a good job of blocking that. On the defensive side, uh, they like to throw the football, so you know, we've got to get some pressure on their quarterback. And, and not allow the big play. Uh, two years ago when we played them, they got quite a few big plays against us, mostly running the football, uh, but we've got to eliminate the big plays on defense. Could you, give, could you give us a quick scouting report on St. Joe's? Like, what do they do well as a team? Who are their key players? And what do you guys look for? Well, you know, it's interesting when you go into first games because uh, even though we've exchanged video uh, from last season, the last three games uh, that, that each of us played, it, there, there's always a little bit of a uh, who knows what kind of changes that each team made. Uh, one of the big things that uh, we have to really be uh, prepared for is they have a running back, uh, Braxton Shelton, who transferred from Purdue. So we haven't seen him on, his vi on video. Uh, we know that he was a very, very good player out of uh, high school, was a D2 scholarship uh, recruit, uh, took a preferred walk on Purdue. Uh, we're anticipating that's going to make some, some changes just in their uh, ability to uh, uh, run the football a little bit better. Their rushing numbers weren't great last year. They relied you know, really on throwing the football. Uh, that being said, uh, Billy Vandermeer, their quarterback, is an excellent player, and he's got some good receivers. So from, from our, uh, that standpoint, you know, we're going to have to be tough on the run and, and make sure that we don't give it a big play down the field. You know, for us, it's going to be blocking their pressure and uh, making sure that uh, you know, we're not allowing them to penetrate uh, our offensive line. Again, it's that controlling the offensive line. That, that's going to be the key for us. And uh, they've got two very good inside linebackers that we've got to, uh, uh, that we've got to stop. They've got uh, you know, one returning starter on the defensive line in uh, Cody French, who uh, was a good player for them last year. So uh, we're going to have to make sure we block him. For some of the fans at home and in the stands, can you give us an overview of Valpo's starting offensive and defensive lineups? Like, what are the, some of the kids that they should be looking for? Well, you know, uh, offensively, obviously, uh, w with our offense, it's a quarterback. And so, uh, you know, Eric Hoffman and, and his play will be number one. Uh, you know, getting the ball to, uh, you know, to our core receivers, uh, we've got a lot of experience coming back with uh, Eric Slank, Tim Bennett, Mike Gerton, Tanner Kiermata. Uh, and Cole Anderson, so uh, you know, we've got some excellent players there. And then, of course, Gabe Aliel, you know, led our team in rushing and receptions last year, so he's a, you know, a, a threat running and uh, catching the football. You know, so from an offensive perspective, you know, it's it's the production that we can get out of our skilled players. Um, on defense, uh, you, you know, it's it's going to be the play of our defensive line and and how they play. We're, we're young. Bruce Collins is the only defensive lineman that's got game experience. So, uh, you know, how do our, our redshirt uh, freshman players, Nick Moffitt, uh, uh, Brandt, uh, you know, uh, junior John Giovenko, uh, who's going to be a full-time starter for the first time, you know, how do those players, you know, perform up front, uh, I, I think will be some key matchups for us. I feel pretty good about our linebackers. We've got a lot of experience there. Uh, and we've got experience in the secondary. So uh, it's going to be, again, that front seven matchup against St. Joe's offense. Do you see Valpo more as a running or passing team, or will it be more of a balanced attack? Well, it depends on what your definition of balance is. Um, you know, for us, our definition of balance is making sure that each of the positions get the ball in their hands. Uh, so whether that's running or passing, uh, we want to make sure that the touches, you know, and the total yards are distributed evenly amongst you know, the five skilled positions, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the players closest to the quarterback, you know, the, the running back, the tight end, you know, should have maybe more touches. They might not have as many yards. Uh, where the players farther away might not have as many touches, but they have the capability for the big play. So when we talk about distribution, it's not so much is it even run, even pass. It's, you know, what 
how many touches is each of those skilled players getting. And then the bottom line, you know, from that as well, uh, is that we're going to take what the defense gives us. If they want to defend the run, we've got to throw. If they want to defend the pass, then we've got to run. So it's about taking what the defense gives us.